everyone, I'm Tony from SEOES.com and today I'm going to introduce you a few new products that we just released recently. Uh, so the first one is the VOIR Boson 3.0. The second one is VOIR Tap HD 2.0 for the View Pro. And then the, the last one allows you to convert a Inspire 2 um, to have MSX effect, a thermal and visual vision at the same time similarly to the Zenmuse XC2 and Fleur Duo Pro R. So, uh, as you pro, if you follow our channel, uh, first we introduced the Viewer Boson 1.0 in late 2017. Uh, and then uh, later on, we introduced the Viewer Boson 2.0 that has the controller that allows you to control the tilt and all other functions like uh, palette and gains zoom, etc. Uh, at the same time, we introduced the free access gimbal and a touch screen that allows you to control everything. Um, the VRL Boson 3.0 combined all these features and on top of that, you have a HD digital view trans video transmitter and also a tablet that allows you to control view the thermal image and control the features in real time at the same time. Uh, the period version of the uh, Viewer Boson uh, rely on either a touchscreen or a controller and a separate monitor and it runs on analog video. This Viewer Boson 3.0 is uh, digital and app control. Alright, so here I can navigate on to the Mavic 2 and we have test flown many times. It works very well. It doesn't affect any of the signal uh, for the Mavic, like GPS and, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It also doesn't block any of the downward sensors or forward or upward or rearway sensors of the Mavic so you can fly with all the confidence. Let me uh, align this tablet for you. So this setup right here is, is on a Mavic 2 controller and this allows you to have the tablet to control this and mount a second uh, tablet or a smartphone to control the DJI Mavic. Now let me move on to the VOIR Tap HD 2.0 for the Fullerview Pro. Or you can put an uh, uh, Bose on here as well. What it is is a system that runs on its own. So all of the system that we've created, they all run on their own without relying on the, the drone uh, supply for power. So I can show you here, it still runs on my, in my hand. All right, so I can mount it on an Inspire 2. You can see the new mount, uh, stay away from the downward sensors of the, of the DJI Inspire 2. So now you can fly with, with confidence. You can fly uh, indoor or outdoor using, relying on all the sensors that the, the, Mavic, the Inspire 2 has. All right, you have an app that control everything uh, from changing color palettes to uh, zoom or do FFC. And then you can take pictures or, or record the videos of the screen right here. This is regardless of the state of the Flivio Pro. Uh, you remember that the Flivio Pro, you can only set it in the taking pictures mode or taking video. And once it's in the air, you have you have no control of it. You can land, you have to land and switch over to the other mode using Bluetooth. But now you can control, you can have this independence of the Flivio Pro, and then you still have the button to record the videos or take pictures from there uh, using the current mode that the, the Flivo Pro has. And as I introduced recently in a recent video, this app has a gallery feature mode. And you can open, switch to, and then navigate through the pictures and video the, that you took recently. So this video was shot recently, and you can see it, it has the MSX effects, 
Uh, the viewer at TAF HD 2.0 can do so uh, because you can run the same app to control the drone and the thermal vision at the same time and you can do um, superimposing. However, in order for you to have the uh, you know, stable superimposing of the pictures of two videos, we have introduced the third product. All right, so the third product that I'm going to introduce to you today is this right here that uh, sits on the Inspire 2. So we call it VYRS temporarily. And what it is is a, uh, view, a flip boson that sits on the DJI camera. It has the HD digital video downlink plus, v, plus the control system right here. You can unhook it from, unmount it from the Inspire 2 and then uh, it's, you know, install the VR Tap HD in, the, in this place. So it runs on a single app that I introduced before, uh, like this. You can control everything, uh, zooming intuitively using the pinch mode. Or we have another app that we released recently. Uh, this app, I will say that it works also for VR Tap HD and also for VR Boson 3.0. Okay, so it has a thermal button here that allows you to control and view the boson. And then what it is, it has an MSX button right here that allows you to superimpose like thermal and daylight. Just like the MSX effect on the Zemu X2 or Fliv Dual Pro R, it is a little bit, little bit more convenient in the sense that you can resize, move, set transparency in real time using your finger fingertip. You can also bring the IR imagery front or back to the front or the back of the daylight vision and you can set the transparency of either of them, whoever is on top, so you can see through see through effect okay and you can also use this for viewer tap HD and viewer boson 3.0 the only difference is that uh, these are mounted on different gimbals than the DJI's so uh, in real time there's a bit of catching up for the gimbals that we have to catch up with the DJI's DJI gimbal Whereas because this sits on top of the DJI camera, uh, it has real-time effect. Thank you so much for watching this. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and follow us. Mm -hmm.